Speaker. Sir, we all have to be very concerned about the rising incidence of violence in the workplace against doctors and healthcare professionals. In India, 75% of doctors have experienced violence, sir. And this is much more than most other countries in the world. In fact, younger and less experienced doctors are particularly vulnerable. In Kerala, we had a young 23-year-old doctor being murdered by a patient who was brought in by the police for her, to, for her to treat. A recent survey by the Indian Medical Association showed that 82.7% of Indian doctors feel stressed out by the profession, 62.8% fear violence, and 46.3% say violence is the main cause of their stress. Now, I had raised this issue in a private member's bill. I got a very good reply from the health minister saying that we cannot have any legislation to protect doctors because if we do it for doctors, tomorrow chartered accountants will want special laws, others will want special laws. Sir, but doctors are working on life and death matters. They're working with patients, they're saving lives, risking their own should not be part of their profession. Sir, I urge the government to reconsider the stand and to kindly introduce legislation that will actually protect doctors and other healthcare professionals in the workplace, and at the same time, produce at the same time some uh, financial or legal support to medical professionals who become Mani victims Mandiji. of violence while performing their duties at the central level. This Dr. Vandana Das in Kerala was killed in a government taluk hospital. This kind Mani of thing Mandiji. should not be allowed to happen, sir. The government has a responsibility, and I would urge the minister to change his policy on this matter. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.